All right, Shalom, Makim, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to our elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors to you, brothers, who are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Okay, this lesson is entitled, Being Cool with the World is Not Being Cool with the Lord. Okay, see, a lot of people, especially even when it comes to brothers and some of you sisters out there, when you first come into this truth, you still have a lot of the world left in you. And see, when we come into the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, we learn in his ways and we're being purged of all these different impurities that the world contaminated us with. So it's always best to stay away from it. See, the spirit of this world is folly, death, destruction, lust. It's all about chasing money, getting material things, just so the flesh can be happy. They revolve their lives around simply making their flesh happy. They don't have any spiritual hope within them. They're not hoping for salvation. They put their pride in everything that they have on earth, which the Lord said, moth and rust and rust will corrupt it and thieves will break in and steal. And on top of that, the economy is going to collapse soon, according to the Bible. These are vain things. Why? Because people in the world, because they're too busy, pleasing their flesh and because they're all into this they cannot see the bigger picture they are blind to the will of Yahweh so for those who have been blessed enough to be called in the faith let's acknowledge the will of Yahweh and follow that to the best of our ability all right this is first John 2 and 15 love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Okay? So if you want to be a part of this, you have to realize that you're not in a right spirit. You know, when it comes to the, uh, to the Most High, it ain't no gray area, all right, that you can just stay in and be comfortable. You're either right or you're wrong. You're bad or good, righteous or wicked. That's what it's going to come down to at the end of the day. Do you serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh or not? You being cool with somebody that's in the truth don't get you there. All right? You have to be serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Because, like I said, when you look at this world, it's all about vanity and the things that they like. Yeah, you can meet people out in this world who may be cool, they might help you out, whatever different things like that. Of course, you use discernment. You deal in balance. But also keep track of the time. Okay? Verse 16. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High about it forever you see that that's the bigger picture he that doeth the will of the most high he abides forever but when you look at this world like i said it is going to pass away see money problems and um relationship problems or if you're not in a relationship feeling lonely different things is happening to you or whatever the case may be yeah it seems horrible why? Because it's happening now, at this moment. See, but when things are happening now, you, uh, uh, you will forget, or your flesh has a tendency to forget the bigger picture in the spirit. So you want to conform to certain ways of this world in order to try to ease that flesh. But no. Nah, the real way to have that ease of 
mind and spirit is knowing that you're serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, and that you have a good space with Him. That is what you want. That is what you're chasing after. Please understand that. See, because if you get caught up in this world, it's going to hurt you. You're going to live with a lot of regrets. And the scriptures tell you in the book of Sirach, um, well, I mean, uh, blesses he who, who is not pricked with the multitude of sins. All right? Because anytime you go out in this world, yeah, you might get some money. You might do something like that. You might get, get you whatever pleases your flesh for a little bit, but it's temporary. It all ends in sorrow. Why? Because you went out the way of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh in order to get it. Now, if you do get certain blessings while serving Yahweh Hashem Yahweh to the best of your ability, then blessed are you. I hope you get more. Just make sure you take those blessings that he gave you and you fulfill his will with your blessings to the best of your ability. Not just keeping it all to yourself saying, oh, yeah, I got it. Because you got it. Everything, our duty is to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Okay? And fulfill his will. That is our purpose. Until our kingdom, where we get to be free. But right now, hey, we're on a mission. So we're going to have our things that we do. You know, whether you like to drink, whether you like to go play pool, or whether you like to go fishing, or certain things, or whatever your hobbies are, drawing, that you like doing for your peace of mind, do that, but don't forget the bigger picture, the mission. All right, this is John chapter 15, verse 19. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. All right, see, you're not going to get the best of both worlds if you're serving one, which that should be Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, the Most High. That is who you serve, all right? And you fulfill his will. Therefore, the Lord is, the world is going to hate you. Why? Because you're not going to go the way they want you to go all the time. You're not going to be out there trying to get bad bitches all the time. <laughs> you're not going to be a drunkard like them. You're not going to be just uh, 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 up and down the street partying with them. You're not finna do their drugs, pop their pills. You see what I'm saying? You're not about to do these things. All right? You're not, you're gonna do, the, you're gonna keep the Sabbath. You're not gonna be around talking about, hey, what are we doing for Thanksgiving? Y'all can host at my house. Like, no, you're not doing any of that. And if you are, you shouldn't be. Correct it if that's something that you're doing. Keep it in order. Keep it simple, man. Serve your help, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Hey, these people not going to get along with what we get along with, man, if they in the world. Okay? Uh, verse 20. Remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. They have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. So this is about the elect, man. All right, so if you're serving your Ha'abashim Ha'ashah to the best of your ability and you get persecuted for it, you have to remember. That's part of this, man. That's part of this. That's of the world. That persecution that you're getting, that's what they're going to do. Why? Because when you in this truth for a while, you reach those moments where you have to make a decision. It ain't no peaceful decision. It is a yes or no. It is right or wrong that you're choosing from, left or right. And you going if the spirit is in you of integrity and serving the Lord, then you're gonna have to choose right. And that might not make everybody happy. But who cares? 
If the Lord didn't care, neither should you. So keep pushing. Don't worry about what these people think. All right, because through the example that you set by doing right in the faith, hey, it might have saved their life. They may come into the faith later on down the line, if the Lord will it. But if not, hey, they have no cloak for their sins or whatever situation it may be. But always do right, man. Revert back to this. This is your comfort. This is your happiness. You have to realize how much you are winning when you have this truth. Don't be in the mindset of uh, most women. All right, as a man, hey, the Lord told you, gird your loins up like a man. Be a man. Cast off mortal thoughts and worries of this world. That's in the book of 2 Ezra. And why I said don't be like in the mindset of a woman, one thing uh, uh, the mindset of a woman is prone to doing because she's the weaker vessel, which is she tends to worry about everything that she don't have. She could have millions of dollars and all of that other stuff. Uh, uh, she's going to focus more so on what she don't have. If you're in a relationship with her, you can give her the day. She's going to want the night. And ask why you don't give it to her. So then you stop giving her the day to give her the night. Then she say, why you don't give me the day anymore? So then you find the time to give her both. And now she's like, well, why can't we do this all the time? See, you can't be in that mindset. You can't be in that. All right, you have to realize you are winning while you got this faith. Read Genesis 1, where it tells you heaven and earth was created. Explain that. Explain what that even means in detail. Exactly. That's who we serve. The creator, the most high. We can only call him the most high because there's nothing higher. Okay? This is 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness, and what concord hath Yahweh Shai with Belial, or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And what agreement hath the temple of the Most High with idols? For ye are the temple of the living power, as the Most High have said. I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saying the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, Said the Lord Almighty. See, and it also mentioned daughters. So you women out there who listening and trying to get it right. Hey, don't be worrying about what your friend's saying and all this other stuff. They can make all the jokes they want. That's what shameless, rebellious, whorish uh, uh, women do. That's what they do. And you brothers out there who this is mainly for. As you can see with this, hey, don't be unequally yoked with them. Now, it's one thing, you know, you, you might have to work with them or you handle business with them or you might go to an event, your family there, certain things like that. Like I said, deal with wisdom. You know, we can't hold your hand through stuff like that. Why? Because you need to know who you serve. And if it's that easy for you to fall off into this, uh, into the world just because somebody done offered you a, a, a little bit of temptation that you know, then this this probably not for you. So you're going to have to strengthen up. Can't worry about these things, man. You can't do that. All right. Don't you want to be received? The most I said, if you, in verse 17, wherefore come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, 
and I will receive you. All right? Don't you want to be received of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai? Let yourself know that at the end of the day, when you did something, when you were serving the Lord to the best of your ability, you and have that faith, like, Lord, I'm happy to serve you. I hope you receive me because this is where my heart is at. Talk to yourself about that stuff sometimes, man. Keep your spirit straight, man. What these people got out here, ain't, ain't, it ain't worth nothing, man. And when you just watch it long enough and you, and you see it, it's vanity. It's all vanity, man. Pride, egos, changing. There's no loyalty either. You just, ugh, there's no loyalty. Just nothing but drama and talking behind each other's back and all types of things that, 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 that these people in the world do, man. It is annoying. So don't get caught up in that. And I just got a couple more scriptures. Um, this is James chapter 4, verse 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. All right? You need to remember that. Okay? You're the enemy of the Most High if you're trying to be cool with these people on this side. Scriptures say be peaceful with all men. All right? So be at peace with them. Handle your business. You know, be at peace. You can be cool. Like I said, can't hold your hand through it. You have to know who you serve at the end of the day. You know? Or else, you'll make yourself an enemy to the most high. And that's something you don't want to be. You might as well be on Esau's side. That's why you see some of these guys who, uh, when they fall out the truth, and you got some of these people that's just out there, they're scoffers. And some of these guys who done fell out the truth, they become a scoffer. Why? Because they done made themselves an enemy of the Most High. And I bet if you look in their lives, nine times out of ten, they really just a nigga out in the world. Who, got, who feel like he got something to prove. But we're not given to debate or any of these things like that. Hey, we give ourselves to Yahweh Barsham Shah all day, every day. And that's that. This 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33, and these are the, this is the, I got one more after this. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Okay? So you get caught out there. All these evil communications and different things that these people talking about and these spirits that they got on them. Because remember, this is a spiritual battle. All these demons and different, different things getting that you surrounded by. That's why I said if you are surrounded by it, hey, watch the time. And be ye separate. Or else it will corrupt your good manners and your good works in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And you will start to be persuaded by them versus you persuading the gainsayers. And it will corrupt you and eventually lead to your ruin if you don't catch it and repent and get yourself back on the right track. All right. And I will end with this, which is one of my favorite scriptures. Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. It's that simple, brothers. Despite all the details and all the things that you hear. This is the conclusion of the whole matter. This is what you revert back to. No matter how bad it get, no matter how confusing it get, no matter if you in the middle of some crazy stuff when it come to this world or anything really for that matter, this is what you revert back to. You make sure you doing that. And don't let anything sidetrack you from it. And if you do get sidetracked and you make mistakes, correct it. Make it right. 
All right, because if you don't, you'll be led to your ruin. So fuck being cool with this world. These people ain't nothing but freaking. I wouldn't even. I don't even want to call them cockroaches, cause cockroaches even got their uh, uh, purpose for the Most High, and they fulfill it. They're trash, man. All right. That's what they are. That's what they act like. Okay. And the scriptures say they were born in vain. So go back to this, man. Fear the most high and keep his commandments. This is your job. Lord, will you edify. Shalom.